Hi guys, how you doing? Today it's me that's starting the videos. It's usually Malcolm, but today I got the camera. I'm just coming from work after quite a long day. It was nice still, the sun was out. You can see, nice weather in London. Summer, summer, summer time. Yeah, anyways, so um, Malcolm's gone for his basketball, which is not a problem. I'm gonna be going home to do some wedding stuff. We will be, actually, sorry, not we. I'll be making the wedding stuff and um, I'll also be speaking about the things that bride has to you know think about a couple of things that the bride has to do because to be honest with you the groom doesn't really think of much doesn't really do much to be honest and it's all in our mind all in our heads and everything and I'll show you you know some of the things that we have to worry about you who's gonna get married or you who will get married eventually so um, come along with me <sighs> pigeon just flew over my head I should have recorded it She doesn't know that this is going on the internet for everyone to see. That's my mum. Guys, do we look alike? A lot of people say we look alike. I don't think we do. I think I look exactly like my dad. And so does my second brother. And my older brother looks like my granddad that I didn't get to meet. It's gonna go on YouTube. Still watch it on YouTube. She doesn't believe me. I guess you have to wait and see. So this is what I get up to when I get home, you know, for the past couple of months. I have to just take some time off to prepare things for myself by hand. The favours, just preparing invitations like I'm doing now. But today I'm doing it on my own. But I do get help from some bridesmaids and my mum as well to do things. As a bride, don't, you shouldn't really obviously wait for uh, the time to come close or anything like that because if you do, you'll get to a point where um, the small things that you need to do that seem so insignificant you would then have to rush and then if you rush oh, it's not going to be nice that's my mom, she does that all the time it just cuts me off when I'm speaking I don't know how she does it but oh well so yeah so you have to just obviously do things from before it depends on how you get things done like I, I, the things I've chosen for my wedding is things that I can do myself because I like things my way and when I get something in my mind I don't like alternatives I like what I see and that's it. So this is what I get up to when I get home on a, on a free day, if I can say. I don't really have free days, but you know, prepare, 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 prepare. I've been doing it for so long because it's a lot of things to do. And, um, and yeah, right now I feel like if the things I'm planning for are not there on the day, it's going to be something like the end of the world. I know it's not going to be the end of the world, but you know, you just plan things and you like them and you want them. And that's just really easy. So they do you know the kind of dream and to be honest with you um i never really dreamt about a wedding before i got proposed i never really imagined what my dress would be like or what the whole to be that's why sometimes many times in most things i struggle to like make decisions like to pick things because i never really thought about them and then people ask me some random questions with all these deals i'm like what do you mean i just want this and that's it <laughs> if you get what i mean so many deals people ask for but because i never really thought about them before it's a bit of a struggle now so yeah guys i hope you learned something you who's getting married you probably are waiting for a sooner date to start preparing no start preparing from now do what you have to do now if you don't it's good the last minute's gonna come and all these little things you want and it's simply not gonna happen because you did not prepare yeah this is thing what am i just invitation anyway isn't it all right what is going on people? Goodness gracious me. It's blimming hot mate. It's blimming hot. 56 days until... 56, am I going mad? Am I okay? 46 days until the wedding. Yeah, it's hot. So I'm about to go to the gym. I haven't been in a while. Do a little nice workout during my lunch break. Am I stupid? Oh, it's push, not pull. I honestly do not think I've ever had any complaints at this gym. It's so clean. All right, so... Right now it's go time before doing anything. I've obviously got to do my warm ups and all of that. Because obviously one thing that I don't want is to uh, get any injuries trying to be damaged. But anyways, so guys, here I am. Let's go. Battery died. Bluetooth headphones. Charging before you come gym. Smartest thing to do. Now, 
Nobody can say that this is by force. Look at that. Because I got a bit of body fat that I developed quite recently, innit? I'm not happy with that. I thought I was one of them people. Yeah, I'm, sk I'm skinny, I'm slim. Don't worry, I'm not going to put on the weight. And what happened to me? I've got a stomach. And my main aim is my abs. I'm working on my abs. You know, as people say, you want that summer six pack. I want that. 14 seconds left of cool down. I'm already sweating, which is good. My muscles are warm. People may be saying, oh, you're not even in the right gear for working out. I don't care. Now to work on those abs, homie. Let's do this. All right. So this is where I work on my abs. Bear that in mind lads, what are your motives when you go to the gym? Is it for girls to see or is it for your one woman to see? Because if you're just doing it for girls to see, you're wrong, you know, you're messed up. You're them kind of guys who messes around with girls. I used to be one of those. I'm not like that anymore. I'm just there to impress my one woman. Upper body and legs. I won't lie boy, I only did what, three reps of 10. I'm just gonna quickly finish up, do some leg and then get back to work later. Right, so this one is called leg press. Me. I'm doing it at 66 kg. I don't even ask me what the muscle name is because I don't know, innit? Right, don't try and embarrass me. Let's do this. Showers. One tip for the gym. Don't go gym if you know you haven't got cream. Don't go gym if you know you haven't got shower gel. If you know you've just done an extreme workout and then you can't wash your body, that's nasty, man. Tip, come and shower gel and make sure you got cream. I'm just getting back to work. So, till the next video. Deuces. What's going on, people? Another rehearsal, another Tuesday with the guys. We have Mr. and Mrs. Joseph. Yo! <laughs> Obviously, we have Amina. The model herself. Wow. We have days, days, eh, familia? See, see, I'm my getting my Portuguese. My last cousin, Mitosha, here. And obviously, obviously Eddie. Eddie. We have Charlene. What's the last cousin? We got the females, the females. Hello, everybody. Wagwan, Wagwan. We got Julian. Good. 
Yes, yes, yes. Oh, exactly. We got man like Vix. I always say it out here, don't I? Right, CEO Vix, follow me on. I said over the youth trade, don't I? CEO Vix on Instagram. Sorry. There you go, there you go. Then we have Dan Carl, Mr. Football Man. So, yeah, man. Rehearsals is popping. It's popping. We're having a bit of a barbecue, as you can see here. So, I'm just here with the bridal party. Yeah, then my Mama, sister. Wait, hold on, man. Oh, okay, go on then, go on then. Hi, guys. It's me. Go quick, man. You know what's so funny? I just realized something. We're all enjoying like we don't have lives tomorrow. I've got to go to work. 9.30 in the morning. He's got to go to work. Yes. He's got to go to work. He does. She does. He does. She does. Uni. Uni. Living the good life. Living good life. Really good life. Good life. Good life. Good life. Wait, how are you going to work? Work. 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 So we're enjoying ourselves, enjoying barbecue. We, we haven't even touched the food and we're like living living good life, but we don't have good life. It's about 11 o'clock p.m. The bridal party pretty much just left. Music, movies, blackjack, food, of course, and rehearsals. Yeah. Stuff. Hi guys. Uh, me you not. literally had like a headache. I'm making my outro video. No, we are making an outro video. He's so rude. Don't you think my hair looks so nice, guys? Really, this was a dating video. Be all so lucky. But yeah, um, it was good. You know, when you bring out the toothpick, you've eaten good you meat. I am, you know, I am quite full. Oh so there was potato salad. Macaroni and cheese, ribs, chicken, and everything just tasted good. So, guys, like, um, it's been a great Tuesday. Like, as you're probably gonna see throughout the video, it's been quite full today from gym to rehearsals. But, anyways, guys, I don't know about you, but I'm knackered. Thanks for watching, and yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. I'm at one of my friends' weddings. It's messy. Messi's getting married today. This is the last video for this vlog series, but the next one will be obviously next week. It's a bit of an inspiration, but this place is beautiful. Goodness. Daisy, you want to say anything? How was the journey? I'm alive. It was long though. But anyways, this is. This place is absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. Too nice. Too nice. Look at that. So cool. Massey's Just coming back from Massey's wedding. He's now a married man. I just want to say, when, if you're watching this, congratulations. The venue was beautiful. You know, uh, the ceremony was beautiful. You know, you both, you and your wife, you both look beautiful. You know, it was fantastic. It was really fantastic. I really loved it. So far, you've seen what happened in this week. And uh, some people are asking, man, how do you do it? How do you film and edit? And I'm like, I film every day and I edit every day. So yeah, it's 40 days until the wedding. Now I just want to kind of speak to the to the gents. But ladies, you know, could be something that you might want to show your fiance or boyfriend or whatever. Guys, look, one thing that we can't treat women as is trophies. As in, you know, once we've secured that, that it's over. Like we don't need to put in effort little things that like us looking after ourselves our health our weight the way how we dress makes a difference I mean, if you guys who are going out a date and you guys remember back in the day as soon as you knew you was going to see your lady perfume on after shave on everything you know what i mean spray that deodorant because you know that you had a long day at work but you really make that effort one thing that you can't do is just be like take it easy 
always, always do your best to look good. Stay healthy. Do you understand? Obviously, that's not all that matters, but it does count. It does count for something. Like right now, I may be sounding like the biggest hypocrite because look at my moustache and beard and my hair. I don't like doing this, do you understand? I really don't. I prefer to be clean shaven. Many people think I'm trying to be rebellious. Look, I'm not. I like to shave, all right? Though it does make me look like a little baby, I like shaving. Keep your game up and always look good, smell good and keep fit. So that's it from us for now. And until next week, just keep your eyes locked on until the day we're actually married. Yeah, take it easy guys.